Siyempre, nangamba kami. Of course, we were worried because we get our incomes totally from rice farming. It was just a short time before harvest, but everything was destroyed. None of the money we invested came back. We did not even get enough rice for our family to eat. As a small farmer, the assistance we received is important to us. A bag of certified dry seeds, a bag of complete fertilizer. It is a significant help that we did not have to buy those because those were given to us for free. We received feedback that harvest was good. Before the calamity, the average yield was much lower, only 4.7 tons. Before, in our plot of 1.13 hectares, we harvested between 100 to 102 cavans. With the help they gave us and the method they taught us, I was able to harvest 127 cavans. Some of the rice we will consume at home, some of the seeds we will save for the next planting season. Para pang gamit sa susunod na taniman. On behalf of FAO, I would like to thank you, our partners and beneficiaries, for allowing us to be part of the region's recovery. All of the houses were burned down. All our livelihoods were gone. Our farm animals were hit by bullets. We were affected by drought, especially now that the El Nino is so long. This happened at the same time as the rat infestation. Many of the farmers experienced a 30 to 40 percent reduction in yield. 30 to 40 I think everyone here in Zamboanga City struggled after the siege. We really struggled. Like us, we couldn't go out of sea. What I received from FAO are fertilizer, tree seedlings, garden tools, plow, rice seeds, vegetable seeds. Our income improved because FAO trained us through farmer field schools. We learned to reduce production costs and increase our incomes. They gave tools for fishers like us and seaweed growers. Harvest of seaweed is within 30 to 40 days. If we are harvesting seedlings, we can do that in 20 to 25 days. The training helped us a great deal in teaching us how to do business. We also graduated from a training on disaster risk reduction and management. This is giving us the courage because even before a calamity, we already have an idea how we should prepare. This project really resulted in productive livelihoods for our farmer beneficiaries. I saw that prior to this, women engaged in just any type of work. After we were trained by FAO, they no longer did those kinds of work. They are now focusing on the livelihood they learned from the training. Because of this, I learned that fish can be prepared in many different ways like tempura, dumplings, food processing, water hyacinth, 
crafts like how to make bags, shoes, and invitations. This is really helping women here. Because of the assistance we received and what we have learned from the training, maybe someday there would no longer be poor farmers here in Mama Sapa. We are using now the drones uh, for pre-disaster risk assessment. In terms of uh, efficiency and cost effectiveness, we can uh, plan using a viable source of data so that we can plan and provide interventions that is appropriate for our farmers in times of disasters and calamities. My hope for my fellow farmers and myself is that we would rise from poverty, that our work as farmers would help us have a better quality of life. What we want is to build on the assistance given to us. That is the best thing to do for the future of our children. Everyone will see that we will recover because of the support. We have become stronger in facing tragedies that come our way. We know better how we can rise again.